Hello, this is William from Visual Components, and welcome to the Simulate Mobile Robots course. In this course, you will learn how to use a mobile robot, or AGV, to simulate different types of solutions. To give you an example, go to your eCatalog panel, expand Models by Type, click Demo Layouts, and open this layout, AGV MIR 100 Logistics Layout. In this layout, MIR 100 robots are used to deliver parts and reduce the workload of human workers. If I run the simulation, you can see that parts are created out of this machine and the manipulator or crane here will deliver the parts to this station or put them into a shelf or buffer. Now instead of the human worker leaving their station to come here to pick up a part and bring it back, that task is assigned to a mobile robot. Now during the simulation, if you want to see key performance indicators such as the utilization of the robots, you can go to the statistics dashboard by clicking this button here. By default, the demo layout has predefined charts that report data. At the last recorded interval, we speed up the simulation. The interval right now you can see is 60 seconds, so once we reach 60 seconds, at the last recorded interval, only one mobile robot was being used, and only one station was busy. Ugh. What we can do is speed up our simulation to get more data. So now at two minutes, you can see two robots were used. And once we get to about 10 minutes, notice that the data, we're getting a lot more. All three robots are being used, and they're more or less sharing the workload, and we have more workstations that are busy because they're processing parts. So let's now exit out of this and slow down our simulation too fast. But this is what's happening. So when there is a need for a part to be delivered, it's assigned to the mobile robot, and the robot goes to pick up the part and deliver it where it needs to go. So you can see this robot is taking this part, and we'll bring it all the way back here. There's a need for this part from the inventory at a station, so the robot will take it to that one. And I believe it should be this station here. And it is. Now for this course, you can use any mobile robot you want. If you want to find a mobile robot in our eCatalog panel, you can go to the eCatalog panel, and under Models by Type, click Mobile Robotics. If you expand it, you can see we have the Mir robots, we have Omron robots, and a generic library of mobile robots. You can use any of these robots as templates for modeling your own mobile robot. For this course, I'm actually going to use the MIR 100 robot, and you might ask yourself, well, if I only know how to use that robot, how do I know how to use the other ones? Don't worry. All the mobile robots in our library can be used with the Works library, so by learning one robot, you are actually learning how to use most of them. I'm now going to talk a little bit more about the course itself. So it's called Simulate Mobile Robots. And what we're going to focus on is layout configuration. We're not really going to touch any component modeling at all, maybe in some later videos and some examples, but it'll be strictly about using the components to configure layouts. You'll also learn how to simulate mobile robots, so how they can be assigned tasks, go to and from different locations, use set pathways, assigned routes, and so on. This does require Visual Components 4.1 or higher, so I'm using 4.11 at the moment and we will primarily be using our generic AGB library that we have available in our eCatalog panel along with the Works library. So once you know how to use one mobile robot in our eCatalog library, you know how to use them all more or less because it's the same concepts, same skill sets for all those other robots because they're being used as resources with the Works library. The target audience for this course, this might apply to you. You might be a system integrator. How can I incorporate mobile robots into my production line? If I'm a project planner or manager, I may want to plan a certain type of layout that has mobile robots in it. I may be selling mobile robots, so I want to see how I can create a solution for a customer. I might want to buy mobile robots, so I want to maybe test them out before <laughs> I buy them. Uh, you might be an R&D or IT manager. You want to see if Visual Components is the right solution for you know, simulating your mobile robots or what you need. You may be a teacher or a student at a university or school, and you want to use our platform as a way to kind of learn and simulate mobile robots. You might also be an automation engineer. You want to see how you can automate a process that can use a mobile robot instead of all this manual labor that might be requiring you know, a lot of people. 
and other. If none of these apply to you, you may just want to learn how to use the components, and that's that. Now, in this course, we're going to take a different approach, say, some other tutorials. We're going to be using layouts that have been pre-made already, and we're going to use those to demo things, explain concepts, and learn along the way. There might also be some short exercises that are involved in each layout and each tutorial. And you can use these layouts as a learning tool, as references or templates to make your own solutions. And I did make these layouts with Visual Components 4.11 and 5.2 of the Works Library. I think the latest version that is coming out soon at the time of this recording is 5.3, but that I think is not published yet. Before you get started, I highly recommend you complete the Works Library course in our academy so you are familiar with how you can create tasks, simulate processes, use resources, and so on. The next thing you should do is download all the course layouts and test them on your computer with your Visual Components product. You know, open them up, run the simulations, see if they work. The components in the layout are packaged with it, so once you open the layout, you should have access to those components, and you shouldn't see any you know, missing geometries or anything. Make sure you are using the latest version of the components in the catalog panel. Uh, actually, sorry. What that means is that if you open a layout and you want to find that same component in your eCatalog panel, it may or may not be the same version. Like I said earlier, I used 5.2 version of Works Library for these layouts, but by the time you watch this video, you may have you know 5.3 version or higher. If you want to ask questions or submit feedback, please use the Visual Components forum or support to report any issues. So if you're testing the layouts on your own, trying to learn, you encounter some bugs or some issues, you know, use those channels. Other online resources you can use for learning about mobile robots, I do recommend the Mir website. It has a lot of good manuals and stuff that you can learn about mobile robots. You may want to sell different types of robots or use, you know, Omron, for example. It's just that this is one link that actually gives you some good indication of um, PDF material. For example, the dimensions of the robot, what are the real world use cases of, you know, what can be loaded on the robot, how high it can be, what is unsafe loads, and so on. We also have reference guides for the works library tasks. You can see that first link. So what all those tasks mean, a feed, a need, delay, uh, create, create pattern tasks, that's so on. The next link is for works pathfinding components. It's reference guides, so how you can use uh, Pathfinder to help calculate routes. What are those different pathways? What do they do? So once you have everything you need, go ahead and start the course. And I look forward to helping you learn about simulating mobile robots.